J.J. Vallow's grandmother can represent him in court, but his grandfather will have to sit out. The judge in the Lori Vallow Daybell murder trial made that decision today. Yeah, new specialist Lauren Steinbrecher explains the ruling here and where things stand in jury selection now in its fourth day. Lauren? Yeah, Mike and Dini, so jury selection has finally wrapped up for the day. Four days, they've questioned more than 160 people. They have now gotten down to the 45 who will move on to the next phase of the process. Meanwhile, we've got a decision about Kay and Larry Woodcock. On the morning of the fourth day of the Lori Vallow Daybell trial, a ruling. Nine pages by Judge Stephen Boyce addressing J.J. Vallow's biological grandparents, Kay and Larry Woodcock, the ones who first reported him missing, leading to this entire case. Kay Woodcock does not meet the legal definition of immediate family member of any of the victims, but Charles Vallow does. Charles, who was J.J.'s adoptive dad and Kay's brother, is no longer alive. In fact, Lori was indicted in his death in Arizona. In the interest of justice, the court finds it wholly appropriate to designate Kay Woodcock, the representative for victim Joshua Jackson Vallow, in Charles Vallow's stead. But Larry Woodcock does not meet the legal definition of immediate family member in relation to any of the victims listed by the state. He may, however, observe all proceedings where testimony is not being offered, and upon the completion of his testimony, he would be permitted to observe the remainder of the trial. Judge Boyce also ruled that Colby Ryan, Tylee's half-brother and JJ's adoptive brother, classifies as a victim, and that Summer Shiflet, Lori's sister and Tylee's aunt, will serve as Tylee's representative. Meanwhile, jury selection continued Thursday, with the prosecution and defense questioning more people, trying to get to the heart of the question posed here by Judge Boyce. Have any of you ever formed or expressed an unqualified opinion that the defendant Ms. Fallow Daybell is guilty or not guilty of the offenses charged in this case. Even for those who have said no, exposure to the case caused them to be let go. Now we are expecting jury selection to wrap up tomorrow. Those 45 will come back in for peremptory challenges where they will be whittled down to 18 people, 12 trial jurors and six alternates. Opening statements will be on Monday. Now, Kay Larry Woodcock, they're in town in Boise, uh, but right now uh, I'm not speaking publicly about Judge Boyce's decision. Live in Boise, Idaho, Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News. All right, Lauren, thank you for the development. Stay with KSL as we continue tracking developments in this case. The nation is watching. We're going to have live updates from Boise as well as a look back at the details in this case on our website. That's KSLTV.com.